Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Stevens here. Um, I am in my living room because I am waiting for the guy to come and fix my garage door. I call him the garage door guy. He is a community helper and he is going to help me today. So I'm gonna be looking out the window waiting for him to come so that he can fix my garage door so I can get my car out and go out into the community. So you probably uh, figured out that we're gonna start talking about community helpers. And I didn't know this was gonna happen with my garage door today, but I thought, well, that's perfect, right? All right, so um, I'm gonna do like I always do, and I have some slides uh, ready to show you, all right? And you can see that I have popped into the corner and hmm, maybe with that little clue you had, what is a community helper hmm, or a community worker? Now, I already told you I'm waiting for the garage door guy to come. So he's a community helper. Hmm, I wonder what he does. Well, it is a person who lives and works in our community. So this gentleman that is coming lives and works in Olean. And a community helper is someone who helps others. So he is going to be helping me get my garage door fixed. Do you know any community helpers in your area? What are some other community helpers or community workers? Let's see. I'm going to ask you a question, okay, and give you a clue. And let's see if you can guess who the community helper is. All right, first one. I bring you letters and packages. Who am I? Letters and packages. <gasps> That's it, a postal carrier. Yeah, brings you letters. Maybe he brought you some letters from me or some postcards from me. The next one, I clean and floss your teeth. Who am I? I clean and floss your teeth. Hmm. Now this community helper does it for you a couple of times a year, but you have to do this every day, clean and floss your teeth. But we have a dentist that lives in our community. And I thought this dentist was kind of funny because he doesn't even look like he has teeth, but he is holding some tools that he needs to work on your teeth. We're going to talk about that a little later too. All right, this community helper, I make sure you stay healthy and that you get regular checkups. Who am I? Hmm. Oh, I heard it. A doctor. Yes. All right. I help you learn math, reading, and writing. Who am I? Now, if you don't get this one, I don't know. I'll read it again. I help you learn math, reading, and writing. Who am I? I'm Mrs. Stevens, your teacher. I'm a community helper. Okay, so that brings us to a book that we're going to read. Okay, I'm gonna make myself disappear and I'm going to share a screen that has the book that we want to read, okay? And it's called Helpers in My Community. And this is found on the Epic website that you all have access to, okay? To read and listen to some stories. All right, so helpers in my community. What is a community? A community is a place where many people live and work together. Community helpers are people who make communities cleaner, safer, and better. Who are the helpers in your community? And we just went over some of those. Some community helpers are builders, doctors, teachers, and librarians. All these people help you. And the guy that fixes my garage door, he's going to be helping me today. Communities need buildings where people can live or work. Builders build houses, offices, schools, and stores. They also build roads and bridges. Builders use these machines to do their work. So just like we said, um, or we saw in the picture of the dentist, what tools a dentist needs, every job needs particular tools to help them do their work. People in a community need electricity, lights, computers, 
television sets, and many other things cannot work without it. Electricians are people who make sure that community has the electricity they need. I've had electricians come to my house to work on some lights. People need clean water in their homes. They drink water and use it to have baths and to wash their clothes. I have my washing machine going right now, so it's a good thing that that works. Plumbers are community helpers who put in the pipes that carry the water to our homes. Teachers make learning fun and exciting. They teach us how to read and write. They teach us math, science, and social studies. Librarians, like Mrs. Devling, helps us find the books we need. Some librarians work in schools and some librarians work in community libraries. So when our library in our community opens back up, you can certainly go down there and as long as you can write your name, you can get a library card. Some children walk to school. So I want you to think, did you walk to school? Did you take a car? Did you take a bus? Crossing guards make sure the children cross the roads safely. School bus drivers drive some children from home to school and then from school to home. School nurses like Miss Brielle take care of children who are sick at school. Principals like Mr. Crawford make sure that everyone follows the school rules. Caretakers clean schools like Mr. Eustace and fix things. Who are your school helpers? We can't forget Mrs. Griffith. She is a very important school helper at our school. Medical helpers are doctors, nurses, and other people who keep us healthy. Some medical helpers work in offices and others work in hospitals. Dentists are doctors who care for our teeth. They check our teeth and fix them. They teach us how to have healthy mouths. Emergencies are dangerous things that can happen suddenly. Emergency workers help find people and take them away from danger. Paramedics bring sick or hurt people to hospitals. They take them to hospitals quickly in ambulances. They care for the people until they arrive at a hospital. So you've probably maybe um, seen Mercy Flight, the helicopter up in the sky bringing uh, sick people to a hospital, or maybe you've seen or heard an ambulance or a fire engine go by or a police car, okay? So listen for that next time you're on the road. Firefighters fight fires in buildings. They also fight forest fires. They rescue people and animals. They risk their lives to help others. Firefighters drive big trucks to fires. Police officers protect people in their communities. <clears throat> My brother is a police officer in New York City. Okay, he makes sure that people do not break the law and he helps people who might be in trouble. He's even given directions to people. He's helped people cross the street, okay? Police officers talk to children about how to be safe in their communities. He's done that too. Volunteers are kind people who help other people. They do not get paid for their work, but their jobs are very important. We've had volunteers in our school. Um, they work with the children, they listen to them read, they do math with them, okay? You can be a volunteer too. You can help the earth by planting trees or picking up trash. Hmm, I remember learning about that. Remember Earth Day? How else could you help? So you can help around the community, you can help around your backyard, you can help inside your house. All right, so we are all done with the book. I hope you learned a lot about the community. We're gonna go back to the slide that we were last on when we uh, switched to the book, okay? Remember, it's called Helpers in My Community, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn my slide. Here we go. What do you wanna be when you grow up? I was trying to think, I even asked my mom, when I was little, when I was in kindergarten, did I ever talk about what I wanted to be when I grew up? And my mom said that I always played school at home. 
So she kind of thought I was going to be a teacher. But what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to be a dancer? Mm, up on a stage, maybe you take dance now. Do you want to be a police officer like my brother? Okay, you can ride around in a police car. Some police officers are on horses in New York City. Okay, some are on motorcycles. Do you want to be an artist? Guess what? One of my other brothers is an artist. Oh, he's so good. Do you want to be a singer? Okay, maybe I can listen to you on the radio. Do you want to be a builder? Maybe you want to build your own house, just like we saw in the book. Okay, so your journal writing activity for this week has to do with being a community helper. I'm asking you this. What do you want to be when you grow up? Now, you, it will be okay if you change your mind. Right now, you might want to be something. Maybe next year, you've changed your mind and you want to be something else, okay? Some people even change their jobs when they're an adult. They decide, mm, I don't want to do this anymore. I think I'm going to try something else, and that's okay. So I want you to think about what you want to be when you grow up. And what tools do you need to do this job? We saw in our book that builders need special equipment and special trucks to do the work. Dentists need special tools, okay? As a teacher, I need special tools, and I definitely need special children in my classroom. All right, and then you're going to draw a picture to match your sentences. And remember to include that job setting. So if I were to draw a picture of me, Okay, as a teacher, my sentence would say, I want to be a teacher when I grow up. I would need children. I would need a smart board. I would need some tables and chairs. And then in my picture, I would draw all that and I would draw the setting as the school uh, classroom. Okay, all right. So, boys and girls, we are going to. Um, make those pictures and draw or write those sentences, okay? And again, like you've done in the past, please send that to your teacher. And I look forward to reading those. And right now I'm putting together the uh, slideshow of your seeds. So keep sending those to me as well and the instruments that you've made, okay? So I look forward to seeing what you wanna be when you grow up and I'm going to be sharing.